What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a pinch and punch effect in Vegas Pro 15. So, for this I'm going to be using an image, however this also works on a video as well. The first thing you want to do is head over to video effects, and from video effects just come all the way down until you see pinch and punch which is right here. Now there's all these different options here, and I'm going to pick maximum punch, I'm going to drag and drop this onto my image. Now, of course that's applying it, but I'm not just going to show you that because then it'll be too much of a quick tutorial. So I'll show you how to animate this as well. For example, I'm going to start it off on KSI's face and I'll end up making it go onto Joe Weller's face and then back to normal. So first thing, I'm going to make this clip 10 seconds. So as you can see, this is now 10 seconds. From here, you should see animate. So select animate and then I'm going to come across one second. All I'm going to do is lay down a keyframe and at the very start I'm going to turn the amount back to zero. The reason I had the amount up is because then I know um, I was positioned correctly on KSI's face where I want it to be. Now what I'm going to do is turn the amount down and this is going to be like the example you saw at the start of the video. I'm then going to come across another second so our time is down here we're currently at one so we can go to two seconds and I'm going to bring this all the way up. I'm then going to come across another second which will bring us to 3 seconds and I'm going to lay down a keyframe. Now what this is going to do, it's going to start off normal, then it's going to zoom out like that, then it's going to zoom in and it's going to stay zoomed in for 1 second. From here I'm going to move across uh, to 4 seconds, so going across another second, so you can see down here we are now on 4 seconds and this is where I'm going to move it to Joe Weller's face. So I'm going to drag it across like this and I'm going to pick a position probably here and I'm going to turn the amount to minus one. Then I'm going to go across uh, one second again so that's going to bring us to five seconds and I'm going to bring the amount all the way up. Once again I'm going to come across another second, I'll lay down a keyframe and then I'll come across another second which will bring us to seven seconds and I'll bring that amount back to zero just like that so the image comes back to normal. So we have just created these keyframes. So if I play it through, this is what we have just done. As you can see, just like that. And I moved the uh, pinch and punch around. You can of course keep it in one position, it is completely up to you, but that's how simple it is to animate it and create the keyframes. Another thing you can do with the keyframes, you can right click them and you can choose the type of transition it will create between each frame, so you can see it's currently set to linear, but you can have it more to slow, fast, smooth, any one of them. But just like that, that is how simple it is to create a pinch or punch effect in Vegas Pro 15.